my name is Leslie Jones and I'm one of the uh, radiology clinical educators here at Texas Children's and I'm here to position, I'm sorry, here to review positioning for uh, knee x-rays, okay? So here we go. We're gonna cover initially the AP, the lateral, and the sunrise patella view that we use here at TCH, so. This is our patient, hello. Hello. Hi, so. Um, I know you guys are limited space, um, or if you are in limited space, you can modify what we're going to show you today to the space potential that you have to maximize the um, images that you obtain. All right. So we're already going to assume you have pulled up your patient and everything, so we're in the positioning stage at this point. So we are going to take an x-ray of her right knee. So it's very important in centering um, of any patient on any x-ray if you can absolutely possibly put them in the center of the detector that's going to help with your overall exposure for the best images possible. It's going to have a more adequate read as far as your um, exposure readouts, what we look for for an adequate um, penetration, okay? So try your best to put them in the center of the detector. So I'm going to place this up and under our knee. Um, and so usually routinely um, for x-rays we have them go ahead and take off their pants, their socks, pull them down, that sort of thing so we can see the knee. But we can also in some cases who people may not want to, you can absolutely feel for bony landmarks here. So I'm going to feel for both sides, the medial and lateral condyles of the knee. And then I'm also going to be feeling for that patella. And I always train a lecture quad. There you go. <laughs> um, you can always, like, if you're not sure where the patella is, say there's lots of swelling, um, you can always try and manipulate that patella just a little bit to where you can feel the apex of the patella. So you know um, one half inch distal or below the patella, you are going to be placing what's called your central ray. So this little cross beam here of the um, collimator light that you see, um, that is gonna go one half inch uh, below the apex of the patella, and that's that most inferior aspect of the patella itself. Also, in, with positioning um, for knees, if you have a patient with very slim thighs, legs, you are going to put a five degree angle caudal, which means down to the toes angle, um, on this x-ray, and that's to account for um, the angle of the, of the condyles, the tibial plateau, and everything that's associated with that to get it nice and open for your x-ray. If you have a patient with very average size, um, hips, legs, thighs, um, you don't have to have an angle at all. So you're gonna come at them at a straight perpendicular angle, again, at that one half inch below um, the apex of the patella. If you have someone that has a very uh, thick thighs, thick buttocks, average size legs, you've got to account for that sort of angulation as well. And that means that you need to toss a five degree cephalic angle onto your tube um, to account for that angulation. And once again, one half inch below the apex of the patella. Your collimation should be to the margins of the skin. You should not leave it open like this. This is inadequate collimation. This is inappropriate. We need to collimate down to the skin surface itself with the notion of we don't want to clip. We don't want to collimate too tight like this. We're going to clip some anatomy. Um, you want to make sure you have all of the soft tissue structures, but nothing too excessive. So we're going to drop this out a little bit. And then if I was to mark this with my marker, and I'm going to put my marker on the outside part, not into the um, area of interest, you want to leave it outside of the soft tissues if possible as well. Put it within your margin of your collimation here. Okay, and as far as your collimation from top to bottom, you want to make sure you have um, as much as the, um, I'm sorry, I think it's, I believe it's like four inches above um, to catch the, all of the distal femoral um, uh, bone here. I'm sorry, I'm flubbing. <laughs> and then also, uh, same thing about four inches below to catch the proximal tibial uh, um, tib and tib fib area as well. Okay, so also amongst this, you also have to uh, understand that your distance from your x ray tube to your detector should be at 40. Right now, I am currently at almost 38. So bring down your tape measure, which is located on the side of your portable, and bring it up to 40. There we go, 40. And there you go. That is positioning 
and AP me.